Hey, what is up guys? It's Sim, and today uh, I'll be going over the new Rainbow Six Siege calculator that me and Tosa War made. Now, as you may or may not know, the new TTS messed up the scope modifiers that were previously known, making both my video and my old calculator obsolete. So, um, because of that, we had to really update the video, and this is the updated video. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to show you how to individually, you know, calculate it, since it's just so much easier to use the calculator that we made. I'll show you how to go over it, but first of all, I just want to talk uh, about the difference between this calculator and my previous one. In my previous one, we had the liberty of actually having um, a, a Ubisoft um, blog post, which listed the modifiers, scope modifiers, so I could easily just plug them in the uh, calculator and uh, there would be no problem. But with this update, they decided to not give us any modifiers, so that's where me and uh, Toast came in. Uh, so thanks to Toast, we actually got, um, we I actually could calculate uh, most of these modifiers, and since these are calculated by me and Toast, they might not 100% be correct, and um, I like to see this as a more of like a community project rather than just me and Toast's calculator, so if you find anything wrong with our modifiers, or if you calculated yourself and you found a different value, then please feel free to contact me or Toast of War and tell us that... Um, that our modifiers are wrong and we'll be happy to fix it and we'll be happy to see how you came to that conclusion and to uh, match up our results. Um, as we do not have any um, actual evidence from Ubisoft itself, but I can uh, I can easily say that I'm 95% sure that most of these modifiers are correct because um, we spent the, um, a good majority of yesterday testing them out. So yeah, so I would like to go over the calculator a quick bit. Now in the sensitivity part, this is, you know, very obvious. You just put your sensitivity for ADS uh, sensitivity. As you can see, it says for simple ADS. Now the thing about the new uh, TTS is that there are two ADS settings now. There's simple ADS where you put an ADS setting and it fills it out for every single one of these um, different, you know, settings from 1, 1x to 12x. Now, if you're gonna use that, which I do not recommend you do, uh, I, I added an option for that. So if we only use simple ADS, it just changes every single one of these to um, whatever your normal ADS value is. Now, if you're not gonna use that, I also added um, every single ADS calculation from 1x to 12x using our modifiers. Now, there's also one more thing. Since they changed the modifiers, the, the ADS settings have also changed. So if you want to keep your old ADS, um, you know, feeling from the old season, I added a pre-shadow legacy ADS option. So let's say that your ADS was 83, right, previously. Now that means that your new ADS sensitivity uh, will be, for 1x, will be 58, and for 1.5 will be uh, 50, 75. And um, now one of the other options that I've added with this is that you could use legacy ADS for calculations. Since, uh, as you can see, these options here, you don't have to individually fill them out using this option. It's just going to give you the sensitivities and their, um, their rev per 360s without you having to fill them in. So I feel like that's convenient. Um, I also have the X-Factor X multiplier if your X-Factor multiplier is different. And your mouse sensitivity multiplier, which is if it's different. There's also an inch option if you're American. So you can get like a... Uh, your red 360s and inches, but I don't think anyone really uses that. I just added there for convenience Now you might be wondering what happened to FOV. Now the thing about FOV is that uh, I'm not very good at calculating like, you know, different FOVs and things So I really didn't want to get into it and uh, since scopes have changed and there's like a new dozen scopes and ACOG has been removed uh, moved from a 3x to a 2.5x all of the previous uh, FOV modifiers are now wrong so it's going to take a couple days for us to actually figure those out. And again, like I said, this is a community project. And if you know how to do that, if you know how to find out the modifiers, then please message me. Um, I'll give you credit and uh, I'll make sure to fill out the FOV thing here. So um, thank you for watching this video. It's an updated thing. I'll be linking this down below and I'll also be linking the modifiers that we found down below. I'm not going to be telling them in the video since... Uh, they might change and they might not, but if they do change, I don't really want to, you know, have to re-record this video. I'll just up update the calculator and the description. So yeah, 
um, thanks for watching. If this was helpful, like, subscribe, make sure to share, and thank you.